No more geist pool parties, the rise of the taco fest, and what's in Pence's emails? I'm Justin Mack, and this is The Drop. Bella Vida is dead. Long live Lake House. The popular Geist restaurant and party spot has been rebranded. The former Bella Vita's Italian entrees have been swapped out for Lake House's seafood fair, and its iconic pool, home of the wild rehab and revived Sunday pool parties, will be removed for a tiki bar. Now, the idea of live music at a tiki bar is really cool. Get your buffet on. But the lack of bikinis is a real bummer. I haven't been this upset since they canceled Baywatch Nights. Sticking with food news, there's a taco festival coming to Indy this June. Called the Tacos, Margaritas, and Tequilas Festival, it'll be in Pan Am Pavilion with an exact date still to be determined. Now, the Taco Fest comes after our first ever Mac and Cheese Fest and our annual Beer Fest. By fall, we should be good and ready for that Antacid Fest. And finally, a case calling for redacted emails belonging to Vice President Mike Pence to be revealed could be heading to the Indiana Supreme Court. An area labor attorney has petitioned the state's highest court to take up the case, and a decision is yet to be made. This comes as Trump EPA pick Scott Pruitt is being sued by a national watchdog group for denying public access to his emails during his time as Oklahoma Attorney General. Man, since when did voters become so concerned with emails? That's like so 2016. That's it for The Drop. I'm Justin Mack.